<laughs> After traveling for a year on a sailboat, we've decided to compile a list for the best gifts that you can buy for the boater in your life. Lightweight, breathable, quick dry shirts. Columbia Warm. makes great ones. Huck also makes really good ones. Yeah, they're great. This is the go-to. You're always, when you're out on the water, especially sailing, you end up getting more sun than you think you are. Uh, these are the things to do, must have. And ladies, I often will just wear Nates. They're, I think the bigger the better. So don't necessarily go for the women's sizes. Stemless glass wine glasses. We have tons of friends who thought that they couldn't have glass wine glasses on their boat because they would break underway. Not so, nobody likes drinking wine out of plastic wine glasses. A simple old deck of cards. You can play a thousand different games with a deck of cards. Uh, constantly looking to learn a new game, uh, keep things fresh, and the same 52 cards can, like I said, endless variety. It's the perfect boat item. Waterproof bags. They come in all shapes and sizes, all varieties. A must have for the boat. We love the big ones for going grocery shopping and um, keeping food dry when you're on the wet dinghy ride back to the boat. Littler ones are great for in the dinghy. And my favorite, a waterproof fanny pack. I actually often just carry it as a purse, but it is awesome. I have literally wrapped this thing down tight and swam with it, and it has kept my wallet and phone dry. Uh, blue fan, industrial blue fans. They pull like 10 amps, uh, but man, they spit out so much air, and there are times when your bank is full, and <laughs> when it's hot and sunny, and it's a perfect thing, they're also movable. Uh, you've seen me with them down in the engine room. Um, they're, a, they're a lifesaver down there. Uh, so uh, if you got the room for them, they also are not small. Uh, some of those blue industrial fans, we have two and yeah, are, are great. Quick dry towels. Yep, that. No more terry cloth on the boats, people. They take forever to dry in the sun. So we uh, originally set out with Turkish towels, which we love, and just recently I discovered these Matador towels. They are awesome. They are super duper thin, really sturdy and strong, and they dry in seconds. They fold up and can fit in a little silicone pouch, which you can hang if you'd like. They also are cute little wraps, ladies. Um, I love them. Any sort of lightweight quick drying towel is going to be a much better option on the boat than a thick terry cloth. A range finder. Uh, this one is from a prior life. I had this uh, for golf. Out here, especially when you're new, distances on the water are really hard to judge and it really helps as you're coming into an anchorage and you're trying to figure out where is safe to put down the hook where is not you put the laser on this and you're like oh those people are like that boat's like 75 feet away and it turns out they're like 400 yards away uh, so this really helps to dial in your sense of space on the water so i definitely recommend it and uh, we're not the only boaters that we've uh, we've come across out out here with with one of these This is kind of a silly little thing, but um, kitchen scrapers. These are bamboo, and I love them because when we're when they've gotten beat up and we're done using them, I can just um, toss them in the ocean. They are biodegradable, organic, awesome. You can get them on Amazon. Come in a pack of maybe six or something, and they're great for reducing water use in the kitchen instead of running water over things to get the gunk off the plates and the dishes and the pots and pans you can scrape first and um, really helps to reduce water usage and then another scraper which you've seen us talk about before uh, for scraping the halls these yellow scrapers are awesome they really do help get the barnacles and that funky growth off the bottom so good sets of scrapers both in the kitchen and for the halls Hydro Flask. Actually, there's a number of brands these days. Hydro Flask was one of the yeah, first, yeah, but uh, 
really, really, really work well in terms of keeping water cold. Uh, it makes ice go a long way. Uh, yeah, and what makes those really great is the vacuum seal that's inside. And one thing that happens to us all the time is that when we're underway, the seas are rocking, and because they're tall and thin, they fall over and the, they get dented, and the vacuum seal inside breaks. They start to condensate on the outside, and the water does not stay cold anymore. So to prevent that, a very wise gentleman in our lives gave us uh, some of these for Christmas last year, and they are great. They uh, fasten onto the stanchions. That way your water bottles won't go flying all over the place and break during passage. Definitely, we have four of these, one for each of us. Um, so again, sort of seems like a silly thing, but definitely worth it. Lucy lights. They come in big sizes and little sizes. They're inflatable, solar powered, easily movable. We love to hang them inside the hatches where they automatically will self-charge with the solar panels. And some of them even come with a really nifty red light feature, which we love for nighttime sailing. They also make really good gifts if you're traveling to the South Pacific. We have some on board, right? We do, yeah. We're gonna give some to the Islanders when yes. we get there. Inexpensive, great lights that you can keep in the dinghy, keep in your life raft. Love them, can't say enough about them. Portable speakers, these day and age, I mean, on land, on sea, it's just easier. Bluetooth connection, away you go. Uh, makes mm -hmm. sense, as much sense, if not more on a boat, as it does on land. Yeah, and you can get really good ones that are waterproof too, so if you're up on the bow and um, you get some sea spray, it won't damage the speakers. Good headlamp. There's two things that if I could affix to my body, I would. One is a headlamp. Uh, doesn't matter if it's bright sun, you're always working in a nook and cranny of a boat where you need a light, uh, and you need a light right where you're looking. So good high quality headlamp. When he can't find it, he's hollering for me to run around and look for it. So if you don't have one, I've two. Espresso. We like coffee. Actually, we like espresso. Um, and what did it do on a boat? We did not want to come aboard with a device that was going to require us to carry all these different pods and what if we can't find them in places. We also didn't want another power hungry appliance. Thank you. So we found Flare Espresso and it's a manual espresso maker. Um, doesn't require energy and anywhere you go you'll be able to find whole beans which you can grind yourself on, on board and make killer espresso. Definitely, I recommend. A good multimeter. So much electronics on boats today. Uh, I use this all the time. Projector. These are great. Instead of having a big TV in the salon or having to crowd around an iPad or a computer screen, we have. Uh, fallen in love with using a projector. We put it up outside with a little screen and we're having an outdoor movie every time we watch a movie. It definitely adds to the fun of boat life. Good multi-tool. I said I would affix the uh, headlamp to my body if I could because I always need it. I, I just, yeah, I, I want it affixed to my body. Uh, He's constantly reaching for that Constantly thing. reaching for it. I mean, a quick screwdriver, a quick cut, a quick pliers, you name it. Fat Boy Bean Bag Chairs. Get the outdoor ones. We love them. We have two different sizes, um, some for the cockpit and some for the trampolines. They strap on up there and they're just awesome. One thing I will say, we got the white and blue striped pattern, which I thought was really cute and boaty when we first got the boat, but um, the white is starting to get a little bit dingy looking. There's nothing you can do about it. So going for a little bit of a darker color, I think would be a good way to go. Lesson number 120 for don't Megan of don't buy white. I love white. GoPros. 
These things are amazing. I will say that I was a little skeptical before we got them. What's the hype? I don't know. Are they really that great? Yes, they are great. Uh, we started off with the 8s and love them. And we just recently got an 11, which is also wonderful. It has a little bit better stabilization of the camera. Um, they come with these nifty little extenders and tripods. They also have a built-in water protection so you can do snorkeling with them if you're going to do diving. I would definitely recommend getting the waterproof housing for them. Um, that allows you to go out a little bit deeper depth and um, will just protect the lenses. But these things are great in and out of the water. Love them. Megan used to say, oh, you get what you pay for, and I was like, oh, no, I can buy six low-quality sunglasses for the price of one high-quality. Well, I've gone through a few low-quality sunglasses that just scratch, the frames break. Uh, high-quality sunglasses. Um, I like Maui Gems. There's plenty of brands out there that are good. Uh, unfortunately, I'm without high-quality sunglasses right now. There was a mishap with a scuba tank, uh, and I still have not replaced them, so I'm struggling. Uh, right now but high quality sunglasses are worth the money and then take care of them. Absolutely. These are some Von zippers um, which I like a lot but I agree with Nate. Maui Gems are my favorite. These have a golden lens which is nice but I think for boating we both prefer a blue lens. Helps you see in the water. Um, gives you a little bit better clarity when you're out there sailing. You've seen us use them. Um, I've been waxing poetic about them recently. Yeah, we, we don't have to talk much about it here. Uh, the marriage savers are nice. It tends to be, especially when it's loud and far away, uh, not having to shout at each other um, in what is isn't, you know, typically already a stressful situation. Uh, definitely, definitely a nice, nice addition to have. They're a little bit of a splurge, but I would recommend it. And we use them for more than just anchoring. If Nate's down in the engine room and I need to be checking something like water coming out of the galley sink or what's going on in the batteries in the hall. We can communicate without having to run back and forth. So, once again, love the marriage savers. And last, but not least, Scout Gear! Yay! <laughs> Uh, we'll give you the, you're going to give the link to all stuff, all the stuff. I will, the, yeah. So, uh, Megan will give you all the links to everything we said. We actually, um, we, we don't, we're not getting any kickbacks on any of this stuff, uh, even including the scout gear. We're, we've got it on the webpage at zero markup. So, uh, we're, we're not making any cash on it. Just, uh, wanted to offer it to you in case, uh, anybody out there wants it. Uh, you know, we only have a few things on there, but it's, it's really high quality stuff. These are just products that we have used, that we have loved, and we think you will too. Happy gift giving. <laughs>